Greg Cottrell with UDOT. I'm here today to talk to you about plows and sanders. Uh, first thing you're going to check on a plow are your plow bolts. You want to make sure none of them are missing or busted. Uh, you're going to check the overall appearance of your, your blade. Make sure it's not wearing unevenly. Uh, you want to make sure you have your shoe guards out on the end and everything looks good. Up top here you're going to notice your snow flap. This is going to keep the snow from coming up over and, and hitting your windshield. You want to make sure everything's nice and secure, bolts are good, and nothing's bent or missing. Alright, so back here on the back of the plow, you're going to look at your springs, make sure nothing's broken, cracked, or rusting. Good indicator. Your chains are nice and secure. Your stinger looks good. You're going to check your ram and all your hydraulic hoses. Your rams up top or on bottom. You want to make sure your pins are all secure. And you'll also check the back of your blade. Now when checking it, talk with your supervisor. Most of the time it's two fingers before you're going to want to change depending on the store. Uh, but then again, talk to your supervisor, see what he wants you to do. This might vary. So I noticed when we were checking this, this, this plow, this hydraulic line right here is actually leaking. You'll notice by the puddle underneath, that's a good indicator that uh, you've got something wrong with your plow this line or this fitting might need to be changed. Another thing you're going to want to look at are your pins for your stinger. You want to make sure you have these safety cotter pins on the ends of each one of them so they don't pop out and come loose. So here on the front of the side wing you're going to want to check your main pin. You're going to want to make sure that it has the safety pin underneath so that that doesn't pop out. You'll check to make sure everything's greased. You've got your grease points right here. You want to make sure your electrical line's in good and your electrical line hasn't been pinched or damaged from any of the movements. Okay, so here back to the back of the wing, you want to make sure that this is chained up nice and tight. You don't have anything hanging. You want to check your hydraulic lines, make sure that they're nice and tight. Nothing's leaking. They've been secured. You also kind of check your arms to make sure that those haven't been bent in any sort of plowing operations. You'll check your bolts, the back side, and as the same with these front, the front side. Make sure you're not missing any bolts. Uh, this is a good time to look at your blade. Make sure that it's wearing evenly. On a lot of, a lot of times on these uh, side wings, you'll have more wear in the front than you will in the back. So it's good to check both front and back of that blade to make sure that it's good. All right, so here on the back, you're gonna check your lines. Make sure there's no cracks or anything's leaking. Uh, connections up top, you want to tug on those, make sure that they're not going to pop loose, they're nice and connected. Check for any dripping, anything like that. Uh, any damage to any of the parts. You're going to want to check your gate, make sure that it, it's operating correctly. Before a storm, you're going to want to drop that down to the correct height to whatever this is calibrated to. Um, you want to check, make sure you got all your pins. You look right here at your spinner make sure it's not busted or bent or anything like that your whole chute looks good and that your uh, side flaps are nice and secure and pinned up on this side also kind of the same thing you're going to check your lines make sure that they're not cracked or uh, or broken off your hydraulics hydraulic fittings down here and also check just the overall stance of everything in here you'll look at your tank make sure all your lines look good and uh, once again, look for your fittings, check for any leaks. You can see that we have some leakage down here. That's something that we're gonna wanna address and figure out. Okay, so starting once you got your plow down, you're gonna wanna come over here and kinda check your fittings, make sure all your hydraulic lines are good, make sure your power's good, same thing. Now these pins, you're gonna wanna check and make sure each one of these pins is in and the, you also have a safety bolt inside of there to keep those from falling out. You'll talk and just follow down. Make sure nothing's bent. Everything looks like it's greased well. This is just a little bit of water coming out from uh, the washing process. But you wanna make sure everything looks good there. Your bolts are nice and secure and everything looks in good condition. Now, if you flip around to the other side, you also have the pins here. You wanna make sure that those safety pins are good on there. You wanna check your whip light. Make sure that it's good. 
That's for when uh, you're transporting. This is when you're plowing. This will come on and this should strobe. These are things that you should check as the truck is running. Also, you want to look at the blade, make sure that it's laid down evenly. Uh, sometimes these might not be adjusted quite correctly and they won't come down level. If that's the case, you're going to want to get, uh, get that adjusted. So you're going to want to get up here, you're going to want to check and make sure that your auger is running. You also want to check that your spinner is moving. You're also going to want to look down in and make sure that your pre wet system and all the uh, sprayers are working at the same time. So another thing you're going to want to check to make sure that your rotos and your flashers are working. You can see on this truck that the right side is out. That's an indication that the fault has probably gone out or there might be a uh, wiring issue. You want to check your whip light, make sure that it's working, your strobe light, and also your plow light up top. Now standing back and looking at these, the entire sander, you want to make sure that your straps are good that your back pins have locked, and that your grates don't have anything obstructed or have been bent. So once you fire it up inside, the first thing you're gonna notice are your basic controls. This one operates your front plow, and this one operates your wing plow. Every setup is gonna be different, and your whole brining system is gonna be different. This one, however, you'll go and you'll turn on. There's basic adjustments to adjust your spinner, how much salt you're gonna use and how much brine you're gonna use. You can go from your different manual and auto modes, turn on and off your pre-wet system. For this, just a basic everything set up, turned on, hit the button, you'll see everything turn on. Now we have a brine going in our auger with our salt running. To shut off, it's usually just typically a button, again, Get familiar with your system and what you're going to be running. Now on the front, here's your joystick for your front plow. What you'll want to do is you'll want to pull back. This will lift the plow up. You'll want to check it side to side to make sure that you have full range of motion. Going from left to right. Everything seems like it's working good. You can go ahead and put the plow down. Now, in your camera, you're going to want to watch to make sure that your wing is moving up and down. So, push, this will bring your wing down. Now on some wings there's a delay and you actually have to hold this stick a little bit longer to make sure that that front, front end of the plow gets down. It looks good, it's operating correctly. We'll go ahead and bring it up, everything looks smooth. Everything's looking good.